like say for example you just have some videos that you recorded and you just want to post them on on the platform on a place where people can access the different videos hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about hosting your own courses for free where you can do that and how to do that and we're going to get to that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right you have a course idea or maybe you've already created the course and you want to be able to host it someplace you know you can host it on YouTube and then send, send emails and stuff like that but what about a platform that lets you host it lets you get money from people if you want to sell it or even if you want it to be a free course at least it lets them organize their time and know which lessons they've seen and all that kind of stuff there's other platforms out there but we're going to talk about uh, platform that I've created and we'll get into that but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video at cis473.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you exactly what I'm talking about all right so let's get right to it let's get my screen shared over here and let's talk about this all right so and as you can see this is a course hosting platform it's called Click eCourse and right here we just have a whole bunch of courses and let's talk about what kinds of courses you might want to have on a platform like say for example you just have some videos that you recorded and you just want to post them on on the platform on a place where people can access the different videos like me I did this video on how to get friend growth tips right I did that a long time ago I made this a free course and people can come to this platform and just click the registered ad they get a free account they can just watch all these videos and they can track where they are in the courses what about you have an ebook that you want to host and maybe even do videos for each of the steps like me this was a video of a 12 step it was actually an ebook the 12 steps to your critical success and I made the access uh free so if I can just go right here I can click on it I can actually see the ebook right obviously I don't necessarily send people directly that I have a funnel and everything else but say you have that you have an ebook and you want to create videos for each of the steps like in my case I did you know all these different steps I got all these videos put them all together they're all on the same site and they're free as well right or maybe you have a course that you want to sell and you want to set up with modules like this has modules in here and set up with modules with videos automatically uh, let's just pause that but videos in here for each of the different uh, modules right uh, it's okay I just want to make sure it wasn't going to play and so you have modules in here you can choose to see the different modules and just go along like this you can mark them as done or not done and etc right so that's one other thing you can do another one is you can maybe you have access to PLR right private label rights which are basically courses that you're allowed to use and resell what if you sold this like this is one I'm selling for you know $97 or $5 with a bonus and talk about coupons and all that other stuff but right now we're just talking about the kinds of things you can do with the platform you can host all this for free right you can host all this for free there's there's a and then let's talk about even something else this is not by the way this is not an option you can do on the free account but still you can set up a virtual summit you can set it up with a menu on the side here that lets you choose which videos to watch if I click on this it'll load up this it'll say it's not a free whatever I gotta pay for it but this is one thing you can do you can set up with these <coughs> uh introductions or and that you can set up some of them as free uh that they can actually watch let's just go to the end here and kind of show you <coughs> so it's got this intro here they can choose to put on your site and then if it can uh, skip over to the next video I guess it's it would normally go to the next video I think it's because I went to the end here let's just do that 
and then it'll play the next and actually it's not working so I'm not logged in I have to be logged in for that to work but normally what would happen is it would play the actual video that we have here like that for example and this is a video that as part of this anyways that's another thing you know you have a, and this by the way of course with this kind of menu you can do that but what I'm talking about here is that this is a virtual summit it's basically uh, a course that you can set up so that it runs in sequence so that means that somebody has free access to day one but they don't have access to any of the other days on uh, day two they have only access to day two on day three they only have access to day three etc you can set it up that way by just controlling how the course is set up anyways you can do all that you can do all that so let's talk about how do you get your own account on here let's just put the link up on the screen so you can see it it's called clickecourse.com so you just go to here to clickecourse.com and set up an account all you got to do is you click on the register button right there uh, click on this register button and then you can click on law um, face continue as whatever your Facebook name is to create the account or you just use email and password we're going to do that right now we're going to call this C um, doo -doo -doo, let's call it that I think it's uh what was it is number da, 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 da. seven three okay let's just make sure it's the same so that I know what I'm doing and then you just put a password in here that you want to use and then you click on the register so then what happens uh I'm not going to do that then what happens is it sends an email to you with an activation link so that's the first step you got to have an activation link let's go check that out I'll be right back right so yeah so you'll get an email like this which says account activation on click ecourse and there's going to be a link right here to activate so you just click on that link and that takes you to the uh the page and activate your account all right so now you got an account that's activated and you can uh it'll show you the page if you actually this is something I should have probably done first if you're not on this page if you were on the about page it would actually take you to a page called a welcome page which is what I want to show you this is normally where you would go uh whoops this page is what you would see normally when you first create your account not this page just this page here so this page here is a welcome page and it tells you start by watching the training vault videos and then it gives you a couple other things you can do what we're going to do right now is we're going to create our first course right but before we do that let's just look at this training vault videos uh just to kind of show you what this is all about under the training vault you're going to see a bunch of different uh videos that kind of explain how to use different things like growing your audience course creation walkthrough using sites platform overview of course all these different things are available to you for free it's just part of the platform obviously it's training and there's more like if I click on the number two right here which you can't see because my video is in the way but there's more oh these are uh, not accessible to the free account there's actually some that are accessible only to the advanced accounts because but anyways these are all available right here all right so that's the training vault now let's talk about creating a course now if I go back to this I just close a tab here I'll close this one too if I just click on create your first course now before we create a course let's talk about what you need to actually create a course let's load up a new notepad here and then let's just put in here what you need to create a course and host it for free right so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I always type this I don't know why I always type why you why you owe okay let's make this bigger okay so number one you need a course course details right so like title summary description cover like a thumbnail right you need uh, you need those things you need those things that you should if you've got a course if you don't have a course you can go ahead and just make this up we're actually going to talk about that uh we're going to kind of take some examples here number two is you need to have like obviously if you're just creating a course you won't have this but if you've already created the course you probably already have these videos so you're going to need videos for the lessons um on a hosting 
platform now if you want to host a course for free you need to have the videos hosted on a hosting platform like uh like uh, youtube uh, vimeo or uh even facebook you can even host it on facebook um so basically your videos just got to be public and you just got to have the url for it uh, over time we're going to add some more uh, places where you can do that but also if you ever wanted to host it on Click eCourse you can but that's the uh, not not with the free account all right so number three is you that well that's all you just need to create create the course on Click eCourse right you just need to create the course on Click eCourse it's really that simple that's all you need to do after you've done that uh you'll have a course so let's get to it let's talk about let's say we have a title let's say this is my test course uh summary test course for this um for this video uh episode right description description I'm gonna not put much in there but this is the full description of the course and what it's about it's about so the thumbnail is going to be some image image from somewhere so let's talk about uh I'm gonna let's do that let's actually do that I'm going to take some uh okay so let's let's do this first it first create the course how do you create the course like it like you saw a second ago all you got to do is click on this create your first course just click on that and it's going to go to a page where you create your course now it looks a little bit overwhelmed there's a lot of stuff but it's really just a one step at a time kind of thing so the first thing is you want a title so it's the title is going to be my test course right that's the title I have here the summary is going to be test course like that and then the details are going to be just this over here now you can also have you can also have a footer if you want but I would let's not worry about the description all right there we go okay so now you just click on the next at the bottom of the page uh let's just take the link out of here the course income secret link sorry I'm just uh there we go okay so you see down the bottom there's a next and a done you could click on done right <laughs> now that would create the course with just this with no other information in it but that's fine we're just going to go to next and then we're just going to choose the course type so drip content over time or default that you want just the default uh, then you can have engine keywords search engine keywords these are seo uh, keywords if you know what that is basically just things that the search engines will use to determine whether your course goes in a so you can put whatever you want in here hashtags is for social media we don't need to worry about that let's just skip on those conversion bot id student conversion bot id that is uh can we see them here yeah so you see down here I've got a little face right here if I click on this it'll pop up a conversation with a bot you can you can get your own conversion bot uh account if you want and set up your own conversion like tr you know whatever questions right I just click on this it'll actually go and continue on my name is bot what's your name and I can type my name right here right so you can actually create this kind of stuff in your own course make it super like you know um right now I'm this is the default so it's asking me what what do you need help with no you can set that up yourself for your own uh for your own course right so right now it's not showing up here because it's not uh, sorry on this page it's not showing up there you can put a con if you put one there if you get your own conversion bot uh, account if you put one there uh, you can actually get uh, the uh, customized you know chat if you want. all right so anyways we'll just leave that all blank so header code butter code and all that that's so if you can put some Google Analytics or Facebook pixels and things like that right uh, that's all customizable then you choose your category for your course this is a course let's say it's click e-course the subcategory is going to be uh, uh, audience growth and then I can add other categories if I want right uh, and I can even create some new ones if I want right here obviously you want to you don't want to pollute the 
the platform with a bunch of junk but you can put other categories if they're not in your list if, if I want any of these categories I can just click on add right here and they'll show up here I can click on delete so I just go like that all right so now uh this is where I put the thumbnail the cover image I just click on this I'll let me just go into my downloads actually I'll use one of these things let's use one of these weird images I got from uh let's use this one there you go and then I click on next and then this is where you decide whether your course you're going to sell a course or not uh and then drip price is only when you have a drip account uh drip um let's not worry about the drip price I'm not, not explain you can also decide if you're going to give commission to anybody who, who resells your course for you promotes your course you can choose to give them whatever percentage you want you know obviously you want zero to 100 um and you can choose if you want to give them to paid site members only or buyers of the course only so you can choose that way so I'm just going to put a price I'm not going to put a price so it's a free course click on next and then this just leaves this uh this is just whether the course is ready or not right at the beginning you just leave it as new let's go to next and the sales page is just an html page you don't usually need that so let's just click skip over that and click on done so we're done now we created the course you know container if you will it's just a course container it's not the course there's no lessons right so now what we need to do is we need to go find our youtube videos to create lessons so let's just go do that i'll come right back all right so i just went to youtube and i went to my own channel here and i just went to find a couple of videos i did on tiktok in the past so here's a, here's how you would do it so for example let's say i wanted to add this video i just go to the three little dots here i say copy get shareable link then i go into the course creation i come here i say add a new lesson i can please click on this right add a new lesson and then I'm just going to paste down here the link to it so I'm not going to enter anything else up here I'll just leave it like that I'm going to say save so what that will do is it will go to YouTube and go find that you know video and the uh the description of it and the the um and the thumbnail and it'll put it in my course all right so now if I just click on course again right here just on course now you'll see that I have the first one and look at that it has this the title right here TikTok tip recording with tap start and stop right so this one is in there now it's one of the course now it's it's red because it's draft but we'll get to that in a second let's add an, another another one I can add another one and let's go back to YouTube here let's put it right next to it <clears throat> go back to YouTube and let's say I want to do the timer recording option so we'll get shareable link go back here put it down here and save it now it doesn't get other stuff from YouTube like for example the the description like say I want to go uh, recording I just click on this and I can get the actual description right here let's just copy this description I can go back to here edit this and put the description in here or the summary maybe the description I'll put the description let's just take this part of the wor word and put it up here as the summary and then I save it so now when I go back to the course I can click on this to go back to the course or go back to course down here now when I go back to that course now I can see that this one has TikTok timer recording options and down the down the bottom here it says TikTok lets you record videos in different ways so that's because I went and I pasted it now if I click on this actual video it'll load up the page for that video and it'll actually start playing the little intro guy there and just let that that play it's just so that's an intro that people will see on your videos as long as you're on the free account it's just like you know a little uh thing and then it plays the video so I can press play to play the video and it's playing off of YouTube right talk about the recording timer this there we go okay so that's like how it works you've got the video now now if I click on the more up here I can see the summary and the description of the video that I put in it so that's kind of how you access that information right um so we have two lessons let's add another lesson let's put a third one here 
and let's go recording let's take this one and let's put it in here as you can see it's pretty straightforward to add new lessons to the to the course as long as you don't put anything here if I put something else in here recording tips right if I put that it'll actually use that instead of what's on YouTube right so YouTube says uh tip top recording with hold it no what timer recording options I think is the one I took I don't remember but anyways obviously if you're doing this you're you normally would we can see which one that was I guess it's this one recording with hold and let go I think I already had that <laughs> but the point is that you can actually put see how it says recording tips instead of the instead of that I'm going to go back to the course all right so now let's say you've created your course you've got like you know 10 20 lessons whatever you wanted to you've got it all set up you can make these published I can publish this just by clicking these buttons now they're published now what that means is that if if you have a course and you're adding lessons to it because you want to improve your course or you want to replace some lessons you can actually go and add them and it doesn't affect anybody who's already got the course right who's already a student until you publish right that's why it'll, it lets you edit the description and things like that right so that it's the way you want it before you publish it all right so now what you can do here now now we're not this course is not public yet see if I go to um actually let's do this if I oh by the way you can share your course by just clicking the share button right here and then copying this link that's here with your friends in my case I'm just going to open this in incognito so we can see that it's not ex it doesn't exist yet it'll give us an error it'll say no access or no such course right so that is what happens until the course is actually published so if I just want to publish a course I got to go edit the course and then down here under access or up there I should say up there under access I got to change it now to public you can also make it so that only people who are logged into the platform see it only buyers can have access or it's unlisted which just means that you know if I put on unlisted let's put on unlisted if I go back to the page over here it says it's hidden over the link above so if I reload this oops I reload where's my oh I closed it oh, okay so let's go back here share right click uh, right click open in incognito so now when I access that I can see it because it is published but as long as I have the link but I won't be able to find it if I go to courses here and I'm just on the site trying to find courses right I won't it won't be in the list because it's a it's a you know uh unlisted course all right so now if I'm I can also if I go back to here let's just go edit it again now the other access I can choose I can say only people who are logged into the account I go to access and I can say only buyers or only users logged in let's just set it to that and then just go and now if I go back to the course you'll see that if I go in here oh whoops I can forget it. I gotta click the share button then I right click the user open in incognito now uh if I access that it'll say that the, the the course doesn't exist it's because I it's not public it's not a public course I'd have to be logged in if I log in as somebody else I would be able to see it um let's just make it public and go back to edit right here um actually there was there is a button uh, that it's also available let's just cancel this and show you the button instead it makes it easier if you've got the course that's not public yet you can say publish to public right by clicking this and now the course is public so now that means um oh I, don't, I guess that's a bug let's see if I just edit this course now I'll just do it with the edit I'll have to fix that it'll be fixed by the time you access it let's go to access right here and let's change it to public and say done and now if I go back to uh, share and open this course now it's public now the course is public so that means it'll show up it won't say you know no such course it'll actually be there right so you, as you can see right here it says register to add it says it's free so somebody would have to register to add it to their to their to their lesson but what you can do if you want let's say you have an introduction to your uh, an introduction for your course like for example if I look at 
uh, say this course over here not this one um, this one if I look at this course uh traffic unla unleashed oh this one doesn't have <laughs> doesn't have a good example okay let's go back to some other courses then let's actually go to if I go to this course in incognito I just want to show you that you can have a course with an introduction so that people get a feel for what the course is about so if I go back to courses here and I look for example at one of the courses I have on LinkedIn that uh, LinkedIn connection growth secrets just click on this to go to it you can see that it's got a watch now right here and that's because under videos introduction is uh available hopefully this will work let's go to the end here yeah there you go so you see this video here is actually available to play the introduction hey, my friend. so people can look at this and see what this is kind of about they can kind of go through it and see whether this is something maybe they do want to buy or not right if I go to the other one under basics it says this course is uh, this course lesson is not available it's only 25 dollars you're logged in whatever right so that lets you have a course so how would you do that with your course let's go back to your course here how would you do that with your course you would go into this let's say this one was the introduction the first one right there you just click on the edit right here and you go and uh, set that up right here you just go down the bottom and you say that it's free yes it's free I'm going to make this free now when I go to this course <coughs> Uh, let's go back to the course now when I go to the course and I click on the over here if I go back to the course now that course is going to show that there's a possibility to watch the first video see so watch now and then down here you can see if you look at them you can see this one is actually set to watch now so you can actually watch that video the first one if it's an intro you don't it doesn't have to be the first one it could be one in the middle whatever it doesn't really matter it's up to you but you know normally it'd be the first one because that's kind of logical right uh okay so that is how you set up a course now if you wanted to use modules you can say view mode modules and start playing around with modules I'm not going to go into that um, modules are more of an organizational thing if you're just doing a standard course with just videos just the basic is great um and you can see right here that you can see how many views how many lesson views how many clicks the price how many students you have you can see all that in here as you use your course now if you're going to host a course you definitely will want to set up your profile which um if you go here there's um uh syndication there's a sorry uh, bio about bio and cover where you set your cover photo and your bio and then there's social links where you might put your Facebook link your LinkedIn link your Instagram link your Twitter link all those links in there um, and uh, <clears throat> and other things if you want to become an affiliate for other people then there's a field program anyways there's all these different things um, but that's basically the basics of creating your own course and it's this is a course it's hosted on the platform it's free for you to use you can have that uh, and set up a course obviously there's limits you know and all that good stuff but if you wanted to upgrade your account you can see it right here it says upgrade to hide ads in your course right because the ads on the bottom on the side here will show up in your course as people watch it if you don't want people to see ads in your course you can upgrade to hide the ads if you want there's other things that upgrading lets you do it'll let you like host the videos right on the platform it'll let you uh anyways there's a whole bunch of things you click on the plans right here to go see the differences in the plans let's actually kind of show you right now the differences in the plans is basically right over here you're on a free plan right now and these are all the other plans um there's six different membership options uh well one two three four five six I guess anonymous counts but it's really four paid plans right and you can see right here the differences beginner plan has all the features of free plus it has all this right the influencer plan has all this the personal plan has all this but the other difference too is you can see right here is the the price right here you can also see how many uh, points you get you can also see uh where's the where's the courses maximum 
syndication membership links courses there so number of courses you can create right so in the free account you can create two courses uh in the ten dollar months it's 10 30 you know number of courses uh also lesson videos that the number of lessons so you can have 20 lessons which means um you can have one course with 20 lessons two courses with 10 lessons each or you know one course with five lessons the other course with 15 if you want whatever right um and of course the numbers go up as you uh increase there's uh other things too that are um uh, yeah so that's that's how you create your course for free and by the way if you want to access your course after you've created you're like oh geez I go in here and I can't find my courses there's way too many courses because you know obviously over time there's going to be more and more courses in here uh, how can you find it sure you can come in here and you can eventually find it right we see down here but what if you you know what if there's so many more and you can't find it all you do is you go to your little icon right up here when you say uh, my course courses right here courses that shows the courses that you created on the platform right there and click on the image to go straight to the course to edit it um and yeah so if you also let's just say you want to watch one of the free courses you add it to your library let's say the free ones I can actually say category uh let's just say show the price which will show the price and I can also say whoops sort by a price where's the price the least expensive so start with the free ones at the top okay so these are all the free ones at the top right here let's say I want to look at this Facebook engagement secrets so I want to watch uh this is you know uh creating your first course this one here is actually creating your first course you definitely want to go and get this course so all you got to do is you click on add to your library which will add this course to your library now you can actually start watching it and you go through this or like you see it's a few minutes not very long but it's organized in lessons so that you can actually go and create your course following along with this because we talk about I don't know if we I don't think we talk about this stuff in here but there's also uh deals and 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 coupons and things like that you can do you, people can rate your courses right so if I rate this course I'm just going to rate it five stars right here and I'm going to just there you go so now it's rated five stars by two users okay so now if you have if you're back on the site right you're in the belt here or you're just logged in you where you're like going to courses and you're like okay where's the courses I have you can you can find them here right I can come back here and I can actually click on this uh whichever one I got I forgot oh, this one here I can click on it and go to it but you can also go here and click on library right there the library is going to give you a list of the courses that are in your library the courses you have in your library whether you bought them or whether they were free if you bought them they'll show up here as well uh if they're free it doesn't really matter whether you bought them or, or they're free they're going to show up in this list right here and there's all sorts of other different things obviously in here there are if I go to more right here training vault is right there all right so you go to the training vault there is talk in here about the menus about the where's the basics how to use wordpress backup growing your audience course creation walkthrough again another one right here which goes through the course creation definitely want to go check that out there's also using sites on Click eCourse because Click eCourse is a lot more than the course hosting platform so there's links pages there's sites there's there's wordpress that you can set up yourself and all these different things and here is some of the training I hope and uh, we're going to be adding stuff in here as well as we go all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.